I've already pre-shuffled and I'll be using two oracle cards for your advice. They're the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. <clears throat> then I'll go through the past, present challenge, and outcome. So Aquarius, we have energy flows where my intention goes. And then we have gratitude. Now, gratitude, it speaks about being thankful. A gratitude, I'm sorry, a grateful heart is like a magnet drawing toward it a wealth of abundance. So, what these two cards are basically saying is that when you put your energy towards being grateful, having gratitude, uh, you'll become like a magnet drawing in wealth and abundance. And that's your oracle advice for today. So let's move on to the recent past. We have the Five of Wands, and then we have the Death card. So with the Five of Wands, it refers to romantic well, it could refer to romantic, it could be work or career, but it's about competition. So, it would have been important for you in the recent past to not be afraid of competing. Uh, you should have known that you have something to offer, you had something to offer, and that you could have been successful too. But you would have had to try to see the results. Now, when this card appears, in a reading, your need to believe in yourself would have um, had to be stronger than ever. So you also would have had to hold your head up high, have faith that you would have ended up in the place that was right for you at that time. You may have been thinking of a career change, so you would have been successful at that too, you, but you had to know it, you had to believe it. And when it came to relationship questions, the person that you had your eye on at that time, they probably were being pursued by several people. If, they, if this was the case, um, you gave it your best shot or that's what you should have done. You needed to know that you had done all that you could do for the relationship where your heart was involved. This can also work the other way around, meaning that you were being pursued by several interested people romantically. So that's the Five of Wands, and it's paired with a Death card. Now, the Death card doesn't, it doesn't necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict, to predict physical death. That's irresponsible of other readers because we're creatures with free wills with free will such things they're not written in stone this card simply indicates transformation and change this is definitely a time of it would I'm sorry this was definitely a time of deep transformation and it could have been both internally and externally in your life Situations, things, people that you had counted on or had gotten used to, they probably were no longer available to you in quite the same way as they once were. This transformation, it can be difficult for some people. The change, though, is usually always needed. And when it comes to love questions with this death card, if you were clinging to a relationship at the time in the recent past, that you were unhappy in because you didn't want to let go of the familiar or because you hate the thought of being alone, you were probably doing neither yourself or your partner any favors at that time. So you probably did or you needed to have a frank and honest discussion about the problems that you had in the relationship and if they can't or would not make changes, or you couldn't and you didn't, then perhaps it was probably probably time to let it go. Not all relationships, they're fixable, not all of them, but 
you would have needed to try it first. So with these two cards paired together, the Five of Wands and the Death card for your recent past, there was a lot of com competition. You've probably found yourself in some type of competitive situation and you could have come out on top. But like I said, you would have had to be believe in yourself in a real big way. Believe that you could come out on top. Your belief in yourself would have would have had to have been stronger than ever at that time. And being that it's paired with the death card, uh, something caused some deep transformation. There was some type of uh, something that caused a big change in a real big way. Deep transformation and change. So it had something to do with some type of competition that you were in. So I don't know if you came out on top or not of whatever you were competing against. But, but uh, if you did or if, if you didn't, it... It led to some type of um, drastic change. Now the change probably didn't feel good with this death card, but it was needed. Okay? Uh, something that you had gotten used to was no longer there for you in the same way. And it had something to do with uh, all, all of the competition that you were experiencing in the recent past. So let's head on over to the present time, and we have uh, Page of Cups, and then we have Page of Pentacles. Now the Page of Cups is about a need to play, dream, have some fun. When this card appears in a reading, it means that you, you're taking yourself too seriously. You probably heard the saying that the one thing, well, you probably heard the saying that there's a difference between taking yourself seriously and taking your work seriously. The, your work is imperative and the second could be a disaster when you take yourself too seriously. Okay, so that's what the Three of Cups is about and it's paired with the Page of Pentacles. Now this card is about boredom. So Aquarius, you are you feeling bored in the month of February? Or maybe you will be and you just don't know it. But you're probably doing some things. You're probably going to be tempted to say or do things to shake things up. And people up just for some excitement. Rethink that impulse. Find a better use of your energy. Excitement can be created. The Page of Pentacles is a great energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. The page can give you focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessary, that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So, with these two cards paired together for your present time, the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, um, there's a need to there is a need to play, dream, and have some fun, and don't take yourself too seriously. Uh, but be careful with it. Be very careful with it at this time. Because, like I said, you could be tempted to shake things up with people that you know for some excitement. Because, um, yeah, you're going to shake things up for some excitement because you're you kind of bored. That's what the Page of Pentacles is about. You're bored or you just don't have enough to do. Or you just want something to... You're just looking for some excitement. So um, just focus on playing, dreaming, and having fun. Forget shaking things up because you could uh, um, find a better use of your energy at this time because you have a lot of it with the page of pentacles but uh, yeah you want to rethink that impulse of, of shaking things up because I don't know 
it could cause you to lose some friends because you you're doing it for out of boredom so you might uh, cause some dis some disturbances at this time so just focus on playing dreaming and having fun but uh, you're going to be tempted to shake things up so um, be careful with that all right so that's a present time now let's head on over to the challenge we have the nine of wands and then we have the tower card now the nine of wands it indicates anxiety and worry being burdened and keyed up over certain concerns and issues the first step is usually to take a deep breath calm down don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you at this time take it one day at a time one hour at a time at least some of the worries that you're feeling they're very likely to turn out to be imaginary all in your head so get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart what is the true likelihood of the worry actually happening so comfort yourself at this time and if you need help don't hesitate to ask for it trying to help trying to ask for help is the mark of a strong person so that's a nine of wands and like I said it's paired with a tower card you're trying to hold on too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster at this time. You have to roll with the changes. It's likely that some people's situations that you've counted on as being there for you, they may no longer be there in quite the same way. So this doesn't have to be drastic because we all know change is the nature of life. And if you try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. If you have building, if you have been building castles in the air, some of them may come crashing down at this time. That's only a problem if you let it be. You'll be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if some of them fall apart in February. Dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living and a reality too so with these two cards paired together for your challenge the nine of wands and the tower card uh, there's something you're going through or something's happening that's causing some anxiety and worry anxiety and worry so it's about trying to take one take things one day at a time one hour at a time Get very specific on what you're afraid of, pick it apart. Because the worrying is, the anxiety is probably actually all in your head. Okay, but then you have the tower card. So, something comes crashing down. But, that's, that's going to have to be okay because, like I said, change is the nature of life. You can, al you can always... Just start all over again, but something comes crashing down, and uh, it's only a problem if you let it be. So it's got you feeling anxious, and you're worried. Whatever came crashing down, uh, yeah, it's got you keyed up. It's got you kind of stuck in your head. So just pick things apart one by one and um, yeah so whatever came down is 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 messing with you a little bit as you can see in the picture this man has uh, these sores all around him circled around him and it, it looks like he's battling himself so that means you're you're gonna be stuck in your head about something that probably didn't quite turn out the way that you probably wished it would. But like I said, the tower card, it's only a problem if you let it be. You'll be able to replace whatever it is you were trying to do with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals. Okay, so that's the challenge. Now let's head on over to the outcome. We have the ace of swords and then the lovers card 
Now, with the Ace of Swords, it can indicate new beginnings of some part of your life, possibly on many levels, many fronts. Uh, sometimes this new beginning can be started by a separation of some kind from a relationship, from a job, from a situation. Just know that as anxiety producing as such new beginnings can be, that underneath it all is good beneficial energy. It's getting you to where you really need to be and want to go. The Ace of Swords, it calls on us to not be afraid to take a leap if it's in our best interest. Now, the Ace of Swords is paired with the Lover's card. It's associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. It's possible when this card appears in you, a reading that you could be feeling ambivalent about a relationship or a situation in your life. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head another. In general, the thing to do within bounds of your morality is to follow your heart when you get this card in a reading. Some people say there are only two modes that any of us operate under at any time and it's fear or love so when you can choose love and that's what this card is about so uh, the lovers card is love in capital letters it's this card is very powerful uh, card when it comes to love it's that twin flame type of love um, it, it can also mean a rebonding of a Long lost love. Either way, you're going to be very happy. So that's a great uh, outcome. This outcome is about a new, brand new beginning. Something very positive. Uh, and it, it could be on many fronts. Not just one area, but many different new beginnings. So, yeah, many, many new beginnings. Not just one. And like I said, it, it could be from the... These new beginnings could be because of a separation of some kind. And I'm thinking it has something to do with the tower moment. Yeah, whatever came crashing down, it caused, it's causing you to have many new beginnings. And I'm picking up with this lover's card, I'm picking up that it could be a new beginning in a relationship. Yeah, a relationship, it could be a situation in your life, but I don't know. The lover's card is so powerful when it comes to love. I'm thinking it's either a new beginning with a long lost love or just a new person in a real big, beautiful way. Because like I said, the lover's card is one of the tops when it comes to uh, great love and relationships. It's very powerful. So, not so bad for the outcome, Aquarius. Not bad at all. That's a pretty good outcome. So, I hope you enjoyed this reading. There's going to be a link below of the extended version of this reading. I'll go over a lot more. I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. Please comment. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll get notified when I post the next reading. I am hoping that you're enjoying 2020, and I also want to say that I hope that you have a beautiful February.